the thesis writing template in Notion is designed to write and research a thesis. It's got two main databases that are related to each other, and these are the sources and notes databases and the thesis drafts database. And the main dashboard, which is this one, with filtered views of the main databases to show only those things that really matter at any given point in time. At the top of the page, you can see that there is a navigation panel where there is a link to this video explanation that you're watching right now. There's a link to an essay writing guide by Dr. Jordan B. Peterson, which I find rather useful for writing principles and advice to apply not only to essays, which uh, seems to be the specific topic of that guide, but also to writing in general. There is a link to the master database for researching and taking notes on the sources of the thesis. And there is the master database for production and editing, which is the, de the thesis draft database. Now, let's get into these two master databases first, and then later we'll explore the main dashboard. The sources and notes database is aimed at taking notes on each reading that you gather this database, maybe using the Notion Web Clipper Chrome extension. And each entry is a page, which makes it very handy to take notes within it. Now, let's see the properties that this uh, database has got for each reading. So you can see that each reading is an entry. There is a property for the author or owner, and uh, you can also input the citation here. Uh, this is rather useful, especially to then have a reference point uh, to make sure that all the citations are rightly used, both in body and at the end of the thesis in the bibliography. Although you might certainly use a dedicated tool for that, uh, one so, uh, such as Zotero is a rather a powerful one and dedicated tool for citations. There is a type property, this is a select property where you can choose what type of source this is, the URL, the relation property to which related draft this is connected to, and a status property. And in the page you can take notes. And I think here you can find an example, let's see, there you go, here you can find an example of taking notes on a specific resource, in this case an article. And you can see that there are two main views, there is a list view here, where all the readings are shown, and there is a table view as well, where all the readings are shown, sorted by type. When it comes to the drafts database, you can see that there, are, there is a gallery view showing all the parts of the thesis. There is a Kanban view that divides the, each part of the thesis by status. So whether it's planned, hence you haven't started to work on it yet, whether it's in progress, reviewing or completed. There is also a drafts, uh, which is a general view of all the items within this database and the table view as well. You can see that there is also a template here and this template is composed of some key questions such as what is the purpose and what's making the content valuable and what you would do here is you would assign a status to each draft as well as relate the sources that are likely will populate automatically when you read and connect each source to its part of the thesis. And here you would, you would write the text of the thesis. Now let's get onto the main dashboard and see what these divisions are and how to properly use it. On the actions dashboard, you can see all the information filtered for what's important at any given time. And in particular, there is a very minimal structure here, where on the left hand side, there is a column dedicated for the readings. And so taking notes on those readings 
that you haven't read yet and that are part of the thesis section that you're currently working on. Right below the this view right here, which let me show you has got a filter applied, right? So the filter is where the relation contains and you can change this based on the, the thesis chapter that you are currently working on. And then there is already read sources here. So once you mark a document as read, it will end up in this toggle right here and disappear from this view. On the right hand side, there is the production stage instead. And here, only those drafts whose status is in progress will show. So you can open the page and start writing your text here in case you use you do use Notion to write your thesis or at least the first draft of the thesis. And that's pretty much it. You can see that at the bottom of these two columns there are the master databases. They need to be somewhere, so they're just here. But you can easily access them at the top of the page in the navigation panel, which might be more useful. When it comes to more details on how to use this system, you can read the blog post in its entirety, where there is also a possible explanation of how to collaborate in Notion using this system with your supervisor to make sure that everything is centralized and that the thesis process is as smooth as possible.